Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and this video is a little bit special because I want to introduce you with some more product. Something which is going to improve your developer life and something which you will appreciate and will see from your eyes that how the product is being designed and how it grows as a product cycle itself. Now I really personally feel that we should give equal opportunity to all the products that are coming up and are coming from every part of the world. Like obviously how long we are going to just talk about hey Google launch this, Facebook launch this or Microsoft launch this. They are great companies, they are launching them, we are giving a great exposure to them. But I think now is the time that we give enough exposure to especially the companies which are close to me because they are from India and I am from India. And India is definitely doing a fantastic work in putting a lot of rockets on the moon successfully but also is doing a killer work in putting out a lot of products which are going to help to make developers life easy. You might have heard the names uh, Postman, Zoho, couple of other fantastic companies which are growing directly from India. And I would like to show you one of such company, Device, uh, which is a free product, you don't have to pay anything and you can make your developer life a little bit easier. Why I'm sharing this? Because I have been using it and I want to give you a small walkthrough that how you can actually make your life so much easier you don't need Figma, you don't need anything at all. You can start learning and even building production grade apps which we are doing for some of our clients as well. So without a further ado, let me just introduce you to the product itself. And if you like them, I 100% recommend at least give them a try. It is not costing you any money. It is just something as a developer you should keep your mind open up that hey, if I am equally uh, equally enthusiastic about trying a Google IDX product. I'm equally enthusiastic about trying the other product which are developed by our own community as well. So let me share the screen and share this uh, something really interesting which you are going to love. Uh, so this is the product, uh, Developer Productivity Solve. And I'm, think, I'm really sure that you might be thinking, oh man, another Figma plugin. This is where you might get wrong. Yes, there is a Figma plugin. This is for making the entire product cycle easy, but you don't need any design on Figma. You need nothing on the Figma. In fact, in this entire video walkthrough, we are not going to open Figma even once and yet you'll see that it contains so much of the power with that. So you can sign up with that. I'll do that obviously. And uh, we recently had a discussion with them. Even they are constantly closely working with the Google team as well. A lot of their inside engineers are working closely with the Google in order to develop this product faster, efficiently and optimized. So yes, this is worth your attention. So what is this device? I think it would rather be easier for me to actually give you a walkthrough rather than just walking you through on this uh, home page and all these things. So let's just jump in and then we'll probably come back onto this one. So uh, just click on sign up for free. And once you have this, you can continue with Google, which obviously I will. And that's it. I already created an account, so that's why it's super fast for me. Now you'll see that, hey, this is the thing, uh, dashboard templates and whatnot. All you have to do is just follow along with me, just click on this new application. You can create an application from scratch or from templates or from screen library. Now this second option from template is my personal favorite because I think this is the something which was missing totally entirely in all of the similar kind of product or anybody who is trying to build anything. Template is the key for me to try out your product. I don't want, I don't have Figma screens, let's just say. I don't have a designer with me, still I want to try your product. So can you give me an experience of how it works? Let me show you that. So create just from a template, click on that. And now you see on the left hand side, you can build an e-commerce app, you can build a healthcare app, a blog app, a comfort app. I don't know how much they have hired job, 38 screen. So there's so much going on. Let's just try because anybody who is trying to learn, Obviously, we'll go on to the to-do. So let me just zoom this one up here. So they have so much to-dos, healthcare, blog, all of them. I'm going with the to-do specifically because let's just say I want to learn about Flutter. And while learning the Flutter, there's one common thing that you'll be doing is I want to make some screens. Now I want to learn how the functionality of these screen works so that I can save my data in some database, some local storage or something. I have now mastered that how to design these widgets, these buttons, the text and whatnot. I don't want to do them again and again. It is not just a really useful way to consume my time. So notice here, they actually give you these designs. So these are all designs built in Figma. I don't have to worry about them. So anything and everything, you can also decide that, okay, this is how I am challenging myself, that I'll design an authentication system, forgot password, a user profile, a wish list, uh, what do I want to work today, what my to-do should look like, it should have uh, a list item name, a title date, 
and maximum attachment. So I want to support all of this. This would be a great challenge for me to learn the Flutter as well. I'll just click on, hey, I'm interested in this. If you want, you can just remove any of the template. I'm just fine with this. I'll click on use template next. It just asked me, what do you want to name your application? And yes, I'll call this one as Hitesh app five. And you can use any tech that you want to work with. Uh, Flutter, Android, iOS. I obviously will go with the Flutter because that's where this application shines the most. Click on create the app. And now it will take a couple of seconds. Now for this entire video, I'm not going to fast forward anything. I'm not going to speed up anything just so you can feel the real world application and the time that an application takes. Uh, I have no uh, advantage of hiding their time. It is what it is. So notice here, this is the one thing. So just a moment ago, you saw that there were so many screens and every screen was containing some of the widgets or components. Like there is the input field, there is a button, there is an image. So this is where they have actually analyzed that, hey, how many things are there? So there is a four views which are using this app bar. There's a scroll view, there's a text, and this is all the place where the text field is there. And by the way, you can do this for your own uh, Figma files as well. They do that pretty well. I, I'm just trying in this video about the templates that they are providing, which is a good resource to learn. So once I'm happy that how many widgets are being identified, that's a Flutter vocabulary. I'll just click on let's get started. And it has already created a splash screen for me. Now, obviously you want to link your splash screen so that automatically your app goes onto the next screen. So I'll just click on, hey, next I want to go on to login. Pick any screen where you want. I'll click on submit. And once I click on submit, now it will take some time to actually build my application and how this is how fast it was. And the best thing about this is this is my first screen. So let's just say I want to go onto the login screen. So this is my login screen. All right. So all the code is available here and notice here, I can just click on anything and I can just manipulate. I don't want the alignment to be center. I can just have my developer experience of saying that, hey, I want the center right it to be there. And automatically it just recompiles your app and just gives you the preview on the right hand side. If you check out the preview, you can see there's a Flutter preview. There's a Figma preview. As I said, I won't be going into any Figma. We'll be just going into the Flutter. I have my previews in iPhone 14. Uh, by the time I'm recording this video, <laughs> iPhone 15 just got launched a few hours ago. Uh, so we can see that there's so much more. I want to see how it looks on Galaxy Note. There we go, it, this is how it will look. There is so much more that you can drag and drop and see the preview on different Android Large, OnePlus 8 Pro, how the app is going to look like. But in this case, I really want to see that, I want to change the styling or I don't like this get in through. I want. Uh, welcome to to-do. This is what I want to go through. Now they follow a really great standard approach of building an application, all the good practices. So there is one practice which is known as uh, internationalization. So what happens is pretty much almost every text in your application is actually being contained out of that application is placed on a separate place so that if you want to do an internationalization, all those strings can be converted into different languages. Maybe a Mandarin, maybe Russian, maybe Hindi, whatever you like, we can do that. So that's a standard practice, good practice actually. And they actually follow that. If you click on the styling, let's just say I want to change this get in through, I can click on the styling. Notice here, I can change all of my colors, fonts, assets, and string. I'll just click on string and there's a nice search button and I can just search for get in through. So I don't like this get in through. I either can do an internationalization for this key or I can just uh, want to say, uh, welcome, oops, if I can write that, <laughs> uh, welcome to to do, to do app. Just hit that, hit that enter, and let's go back to the UI file, and there we go, welcome to to do app. So everything is standardized, and in case you don't like anything, all the code is here. Just click anywhere, you don't like it, get in through, you don't like it to be center. For some reason, you can just remove this and have it to be another place. Maybe I want it to be center left. I want it, uh, somehow I like this. <laughs> Who is going to stop me? I, I am the coder, I want to do that. So I can just go ahead and change this. Now this is how I like it. All right, good. Now coming on to the styling, you can change all of your colors, font, maybe you don't like this purple color, you like different theme, you want to go with a reddish theme. All of these things are being mentioned, even the fonts, whichever you want, so you can just replace the font. You can actually have your own assets, or if you don't have these assets, you can actually bring them download them however you like. Let's go back onto the file. So this is the file. You can also check out the preview so that you can actually go ahead and walk through just like you do in any other preview app. 
So this is how my application will look like. This is how the screens will look like. I can just go with the login screens and whatnot. So I can just go ahead and try out that, hey, these are all the screens which I'm challenging myself to work on with. And now once I've done with this, I can just click on the build app. And this is the magic part. You can actually make this app with the state management. Every kind of a big app requires a state management. You can definitely proceed without state management, but hey, if the state management is available, eventually you'll be working with that. Just select one and it will give you the option that how the state management will work. Just click on build with block and this is where we are going to wait for a few seconds. So let me just move this a little bit above so that you can see how much time is it going to take. So uh, let's go there and let me just remove this. So all right, let's just wait for a couple of seconds. All right. And there we go, almost done. And I'm not going to fast forward this, but this is pretty fast for an application entire build. Uh, why I'm saying fast? Because it's an entire source code that is coming up there. Just wait for a couple of more minutes, seconds, not minutes. <laughs> uh, whatever time it's going to take, it's going to take. I'm not going to fast forward this. I'm not going to give any concession on that part. Whatever it is, it is. Okay, now we can see that it opens up a full-blown code editor and which has all the things. So if I go ahead and open up my lib, it has core, data, localization. So everything that I saw uh, is up here. So all the code for the login screen, all the strings, their keys, everything is up here. And if I go into the data, uh, there is models being created for me, a login device with auth, post login device. So anything that I want to change or I want to manipulate, I can do that. Now here's the interesting part. If you go onto the top right side, you can see that this is the part where you can actually copy this entire source code. So that everything, you can actually manipulate that here as well. But maybe you are just like me, a big fan of VS Code, want to continue these things further in the VS Code. I can just go ahead and just click on this. It will copy the entire source code for me. I can just go ahead and download and this will download this dot file. But in case you want that, I want the entire source code to be downloaded. I can click on this sync or download the code. And this will give me the option that I can sync this code with my GitHub repository or GitLab. Do you use GitLab? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, I can just sync them up with the GitHub so that entire source code and this whole project is actually in the sync. I can use the application token here. I can download the source code just by clicking here or I can just keep on syncing them with the GitHub. So once I download this, this entire whole application is with me. So notice here how much time we are saving. We started from this very basic screen that, hey, I want this UI up here and I just want to get started. So this is why I'm saying that the way of how we do development is definitely going to change, especially with the involvement of a lot of AI tools, which DIY is also bringing up very soon. This is something which should we should really adopt for. Now is the time that we don't do these kinds of mundane work, which is really common. How many times you are going to build buttons? You know how to build buttons. Now spending more time in just building the button is not going to make you more productive. It's time that you use similar kind of tools and focus more on building the application, handling the data, handling the functionality and work more on the logic part, the business part, so that you can grow your application. It doesn't matter if it is a to-do application or e-commerce application. You can actually learn faster you can uh, build your projects faster and serve more clients with that. So I think this is where this product shines and the goal of the entire team of the device is let's make developers more productive so that they can earn more money or people can learn faster. I would obviously say that some, somebody who doesn't know code should actually use this. And this is also the philosophy of device. I actually sat with his founder and there is a nice interview or the podcast which we discussed, casual one. Uh, he also said that our product is not for non-developers or non-coders. Our product is absolutely for coders. And this is where I think the future of learning and future of the Flutter development and eventually React development and every development will be there. So the time of building the design, obviously that will be there. But after that, let's just produce the component and work on the business logic of the side. I think this is a great advantage and I'll show you a couple of more things which are actually very interesting on here. So. If you go onto this page of the device, now this will make much more sense. So there is a developer experience, which is my favorite tab that, hey, if somebody is giving us the developer experience, that is my favorite thing. Even if it has more dependencies or something, I don't care. I don't care about more dependencies, less dependencies. Eventually a production grade application has some dependencies. This is how it works. 
but this is my favorite part. And if you'll scroll that, uh, yes, they are also working on some GPT based uh, things. So generative models will come whenever it will come. We'll discuss that later on. And you can see there are so many screens and so many things that you can work on out of the box. There is nothing that you have to do. And if you'll scroll a little bit, uh, live rendering, yes, they provide that. Just like we saw that, uh, real time we change the text, it just rendered the things onto our screen, the design. It is live rendering that is great for us. And we can do authentication, runtime permissions, navigation setup. We did that with the splash screen to the next screen. All that is already connected. We can actually connect with some databases and whatnot, no vendor lock-in. A whole lot of things are there and they are also doing pretty good and pretty nice go ahead check them out this is something which i think is being developed right from india and i think this deserves an attention that how eventually they are preparing us that hey this is about to happen in future why don't you get ready right here so a great thing and definitely if you wish more i will bring up a couple of more videos to actually walk you through and help you to build apps using flutter faster using the device so that i can also improve some of your productivity so definitely if you have some doubt or you want some videos request drop them in the comment section i would love to make more videos all right let's catch up in the next video